Senator Brooke to explain her vote. Thank you, Madam President. Um, I want to take a quick moment to shine a light on something that has happened for the first time in our nation's history, uh, which is a state choosing to invest in local police accountability, and in this case, for the city of Rochester. This moment has been more than 50 years in the making, when community members and leaders and organizers have been working to help make a safer, more supportive community for the city of Rochester. And in 2019, 75% of voters in the city of Rochester voted for a police accountability board because they knew that part of the solution to make safer communities was to allow community voices to be a part of that process. And that is why I am so grateful in this budget and from the leader, leadership of leader Andrea Stewart Cousins for seeing the incredible need of our hometown city of Rochester in the 55th district and the need for an investment like this. For too long, our city has been in the headlines with tragedy over tragedy. Whether it's Daniel Prude losing his life in the throes of a mental health crisis, whether it's a young nine-year-old getting pepper sprayed in the face, whether it's a woman with her three-year-old daughter by her side being pepper sprayed for an accusation of stealing, which she was found to be not guilty of. This kind of funding is absolutely necessary, needed, and I am so grateful for the courage of this body to trust that the community really does deserve this kind of voice in their own policing. I believe it will help us save lives in the city of Rochester. For that reason, and for so many other reasons, I'm proud to vote aye on this.